I know Chiggs is in here recording this. So. Yeah. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. So you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say. Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Is everybody meant to be a champion? That's what Steven Jackson wants to know as he goes back and forth with Shakur Stevenson on Twitter after Shakur responds to Roy Jones Jr. being a guest on the All The Smoke podcast where he gave Shakur Stevenson some advice without Shakur Stevenson feeling like it was just another attack. But when Steven Jackson responds to Shakur Stevenson, he brings up a few points about what it means to be a champion. What's up, y'all? It's your man Talkless World Report for the Chick Smooth channel. We gotta talk about this. As far as boxing critiques go, there's very few people in the world alive today who can still speak clearly that would give you a great breakdown and some good advice about your performance in the ring better than Roy Jones Jr. And that's what he did for Shakur Stevenson while he was on All The Smoke podcast. Here's what he had to say. Very good fighter, but you gotta learn. And I will hope he will pay attention to this because this is gonna mean a lot for him. Mm -hmm. His feet are good. But sometimes they take them too far out of range to be able to come back and counter. Mm -hmm. The last guy he fought, the guy was a good puncher. So when he was jumping back, he was jumping too far back out of range to where he couldn't come back and get something right away. You know what I'm saying? And for the fans, it starts to look bored. That's how I say. I feel like he, I feel like he was running. He really ain't running. He just don't understand that this is somebody yeah. that teach him. And I would teach him if they ever brought him to him and me teach him. Shakur Stevenson will respond to that clip saying, "Real nigga right here." constructive criticism without trying to down a young nigga. Salute, OG. I can't wait to get back in the gym and get back to work. Thank you. Honestly, if he would have responded to Cam and Mace and everybody else in this form, it would be one, far less entertaining, and two, way less combative energy from everybody. But he's a professional competitor. He's a world champion competitor. Going back and forth on Twitter is the least of it. But this was his second response. In the first response that was deleted, he will call Steven Jackson a goofy for how he responded in the clip. So this is the second attempt of this post, focusing on the positive, which is a great change. But Steven Jackson would respond to the original post. What up, world? Hey, Roy Jones interview out now. He posted a clip of Roy Jones when I was asking him about the young boxers. We were talking about Shakur. Shout out Connor, shout out Rose on my team. Yeah, all the smoke boxing, all the smoke fight, Showtime boxing, that's us now. Yes, we own that, that's us. So we ain't going nowhere. And we put out a clip. Shakur saw the clip, posted it everywhere. Said Roy Jones a real one, but called me a goofy. One, check it out, bro. A lot of people around you know me real well. Some of them raised me. Ask them, am I a goofy? You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do no research. People right there can tell you. Two, everybody ain't meant to be a champion. And if you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. Last thing, if you're mad at everybody and if you're going to get on Twitter and be mad at everybody, be mad at Andre and Bud too. Because they said the same thing to you that the whole world saying right in your face for the world to see. Facts. Niggas. Steven Jackson talked about maybe not everybody is cut out to be a champion. Because everybody wants the glitz and the glamour and the pats on the back, but they don't want all the criticism that comes with it. We have to embrace obscurity because if you're ever at a point where you're the top of your industry, part of the entertainment is betting that you will fall and you overcoming that. Because once you're already champion, what else do you have to overcome besides the doubt? And it's not a personal thing in regards to the fans or the media. These criticisms are not specific to just Shakur. There's going to be some type of criticism for whoever has the spotlight at the moment. It's a critique on the product. It's not personal disrespect. Is it? Because wanting to fight media members or people with podcasts every time they critique one of your matches is the silliest thing you could do. It seems like the best reaction because you feel like it's personal disrespect. But if there's always going to be criticism, then you're always going to be fighting the media. Why? You don't get paid to fight the media. You get paid to fight other boxers. Just do that. As long as you keep winning, people will keep watching and they will find something else to critique. If you go in there and don't move and get knocked out, people are going to be like, see, I knew he was soft and now you'll be combating that. Why? Because it feels good to go back and forth on Twitter. Even if it does, you're stressing yourself out for no reason. Peace.